Well, I've got some special tips I want to cover with you now at the table. These are kind of uh, special little gold nuggets you can use to uh, improve your game. They come up quite often in the game. Here's an example of uh, a principle called explanation of throw. Now, as you know, when you have a combination shot where there's space between the balls, most of the time you can just cut the first ball back into the second ball, make the shot, even though combinations can be a little bit tricky at times. However, there is a type of combination shot called a throw shot that becomes very easy when the balls are actually touching each other, or if there's a very minimal space of, let's say, a sixteenth of an inch and the balls are a little bit dirtier, you get this what's called clinging action to the balls. What I've got set up here on the table is I've got a five ball and a nine ball, and they're actually touching each other. Uh, and they're not quite lined up for the pocket. If, if you take a real close look at this, if I lay my cue stick and go straight through the centers of these two balls, just straight through the centers, I'm over to where the tip hits the cushion, it's actually off the pocket. So there's no way really for the nine ball to go in that pocket unless you do a thing called throw the nine ball in the pocket. And some of you are familiar with throw. It's basically the friction between the two balls pushes one ball in the direction that you, uh, the opposite side you hit the first ball on. So if you take this cue stick again straight over to the cushion and then from where the tip is under that cushion you count to the center of the pocket number of inches so that would be one inch over two inches over and three inches to the center of the pocket that's the first step you would use in a shot like this to know how much you have to throw it over in order to make it in the pocket and then the second step of calculation would be to take the distance from the pocket to the point where these two balls are joined together now this is a 58 inch cue stick and the joint is 29 inches, so basically you have 29 inches, you have about another 7 inches to the center of these two balls, and you can use your cue stick to actually use it as a ruler to measure that if you know the length of your cue stick. So that's about three, in, uh, th three feet or 36 inches to where these two balls are joined together. So this creates a relationship of three inches, uh, basically of throw, and three feet of transfer uh, of distance. So in other words, in this particular case, that's a one-to-one -one ratio three inches of throw, three feet of length, so that's a one-to-one -one ratio. And anytime you have a one-to-one -one ratio, you can actually make that object ball into the pocket. Now, the way you would hit this would be very simple. You hit a half ball, hit on the first ball with a cue ball. Now, in this particular case, to make the half ball concept really simple to understand, the half ball hit means that if you hit the five ball looking at it from my angle, you see half of the five ball. And if you look at it from your angle, you see half of the cue ball. So that's what we refer to generically as a half ball hit. And then the next step would be simply to hit it with a medium speed or what we refer to as the lag speed. So we hit the cue ball basically in the center. There's no English transfer of the cue ball. You just hit it in the center and you hit the shot like this and the ball goes right and throws into the corner pocket. So this relationship works on any table, any size table, works so whenever you've got those two balls touching each other. And the whole concept is very simple. If you have four inches to throw to the center of the pocket and four feet to the ball to the pocket, uh, then you would simply have that one-to-one -one ratio, four feet, four inches of throw. If it's six inches, six feet. That's a one-to-one -one ratio. Once you see that, if you hit the first ball with a half ball hit and you hit it with medium speed, you've got an excellent chance of making that shot to win the game if it's a game of nine ball like it was there. So learn to use this principle, this explanation of throw, and your game will go to a hundred other level just like it has in the past with some of these other segments. So I appreciate you being here listening to this, and I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.